In today's show, this crypto analyst who accurately called Bitcoin's collapse predicts Bitcoin will hit $500,000, but also says traders should not hold their breath. In a recent tweet, he wrote, the road to 500K and price stability. When peaks are stepped, they meet on a logarithmic growth curve with each subsequent cycle from base to peak. An extra year is added. I'll be breaking down this bullish price prediction for you right here in today's show. Also in today's episode, the Bitcoin price can surge to its all-time high of $20,000 by the end of this year. That's right, a market cycle analysis by one crypto trader suggests Bitcoin will hit 20K in the coming months, likely by the end of 2020. We'll be taking a look at this prediction from Nunya Business, predicting this $20,000 Bitcoin price by the end of the year, as you can see right here in this graph. Also, there's other analysts who are also in agreement that Bitcoin will approach the record high of about 20K this year if it follows 2016's trend. And we're talking about Mike McGlone, the senior commodity analyst at Bloomberg Intelligence. And he also just tweeted yesterday, risking zero to $500,000, Bitcoin set to stay up trajectory. Bitcoin appears as a resting bull market on the back of gold. In our view, reversion risks are high for lofty equities and Ethereum. But like gold, Bitcoin should come out ahead in most scenarios. We'll be discussing this in today's show. Also, it doesn't end there. There's other major influencers such as the BitMEX CEO, Arthur Hayes, who went on the record back in April to say, my end of 2020 price target remains $20,000. And just recently, he upped his ante doubling down. And we also have Cameron and Winklevoss, who recently tweeted, I don't normally like making definitive Bitcoin price predictions. That being said, this is the last time you're going to see Bitcoin below $12,000 until it goes back above 12K. I'll be breaking down all these bullish price predictions for you here in today's show. Also in today's episode, we'll be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the major cryptos are currently in the red and correcting right now. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this, plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And before we kick off today's show, if interested in tapping into OPM and leveraging other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, smash the link right below this video in the description. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. Let's kick it off by diving into today's top story of the day. I have lots of bullish price predictions to share with you here in today's show. Let's break it down, shall we? The pseudo-anonymous analyst who goes by the name Dave the Wave predicts the Bitcoin price will hit $500,000. Well, eventually, Dave, a technical trader who correctly predicted Bitcoin's collapse from 11.6 to 6.4 last year, is reacting to Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss's recent Bitcoin analysis, where they make the case for the $500,000 Bitcoin price. If you missed it, be sure to check it out. I dedicated an entire episode specifically on that prediction. The twin bros and co-founders of the crypto exchange Gemini say Bitcoin is undervalued as long as it trades below 500,000, citing the likelihood of hyperinflation in the U.S., that can drive Bitcoin as a safe haven asset. And Dave the Wave, this is his response to the Winklevoss twins case for the 500K Bitcoin. Good to see a reasonable price projected here by the Winklevoss bros. And I agree 100%. I feel that Bitcoin is currently way undervalued, especially being the hardest form of sound money to ever exist. And for the first time in human history, we have a monetary supply with true scarcity built right in. You feel me? Now check this out. In response, Dave shared his analysis of Bitcoin's long-term trajectory, which tracks the crypto's past price movements and increasingly long cycles. His chart shows Bitcoin could reach a half a million dollars sometime around 2029. Taking a look at Dave the Wave's tweet, the road to 500K and price stability. When peaks are stepped, they meet on a logarithmic growth curve with each subsequent cycle from base to peak. An extra year is added and he included this graph, which I'll include in the show notes below the video in the description. And now let's break down some further analysis from Dave. He wrote this, this from January, still on track. Forget mathematics and think geometry. Lines in the following chart connect the two previous cyclical bases to the peak of the next cycle. Also cyclical ascending triangles. Both charts give the same price predictions. So here you have it, another 
$500,000 Bitcoin price prediction from Dave the Wave. And taking a look at some of the responses to this tweet, Justin wrote, Interesting. It seems your earlier models had a more bullish tilt. Based on this, you'd see Bitcoin sticking up and around 40000 until 2023 or so. And Dave the Wave responded, The difference between my 2018 and 2019 models, 2018, the log growth curve was taken as a mean and the correcting parabola as support. And 2019, the exact opposite. In terms of predictive capacity, the longer term time frame has to trump the shorter term medium term, in my opinion. Now, Dave the Wave also refers to himself as the BTC centrist. He also recently released a projection predicting the Bitcoin price would hit $100,000 sometime in early 2023. If you agree with Dave the Wave, let me know in the comments right down below. And then we have the infamous stock the flow model, which predicts a $100,000 Bitcoin price for the first time on August 16th, 2021. That's coming from Plan B, the controversial analyst who burst onto the scene last year after being the first to apply the stock to flow ratio to Bitcoin, which is ultimately supply and demand. Plan B's latest stock to flow forecast predicts Bitcoin will hit $100,000 even earlier by August 2021. As I pointed out, the pseudo anonymous analyst's newest cross asset model, Bitcoin Stock to Flow X, enables the valuation of different scarce assets such as silver, gold, and Bitcoin all within a single formula. It predicts the Bitcoin price will be worth $288,000 by 2024's year end. If you agree with plan B of the stock to flow model that Bitcoin is likely to cross six figures by next year and go on up to 288,000 by 2024, let me know in the comments right down below. All right, before I break down for you some more bullish Bitcoin price predictions, first let's take a look at the overall crypto market. Bitcoin is currently crashing and down 6.5%, now trading at 10,691 holy moly this happened fast i mean right when i hit record it was trading at about 11,000 ethereum is down a whopping 9% now trading at $404 we got so close to 500 but again another in my opinion healthy correction this is to be expected especially considering bitcoin ethereum chainlink and most of the major crypto assets are performing quite well year to date so when we see the price increase like this healthy corrections are a good thing, not a bad thing. It's just Bitcoin doing Bitcoin things. If you ask me, the crypto market is extremely volatile as it should be considering we just had a halving a few months back. Now we have XRP down about 7%, trading at 26 cents, Chainlink down almost 14% trading just below $13. Now keep in mind that there is a CME's futures gap open currently at about that $9,700 level. So if we break below that critical $10,500 support, then in my opinion, we're likely to close that CME futures gap and drop back down below 10,000. If we could maintain above that critical 10.5 support, I feel we can continue marching on upwards. It's gonna be interesting to watch uh, here throughout the day. Now let's take a look at some of the top exchange volume. We have Binance down 5% with just under 12 billion in volume. Hobby Global down 7% with 3.7 billion. OKEX down 21% with just under 3 billion. And BitMEX down 20% with 2.6 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. So as you can see, there is a lot of liquidity currently exiting the market. Yesterday, all the major exchanges were in the green, and today is the complete opposite as they're all in the red. All right, now let's break down some more bullish price predictions for you right here. A market cycle analysis by one crypto trader suggests the Bitcoin price will hit 20K in the coming months, likely by the end of 2020. The chart shows that per historical market cycles, Bitcoin is at the point of its ongoing bull market where it will begin its parabolic ascent towards its previous all-time high of $20,000. And taking a look at this tweet from Nunya Business, who wrote, Bitcoin monthly. Yesterday, the month closed above the 50% Fibonacci retracement. So what, buddy? Well, if past cycles are a sign and the pattern continues, the launch sequence has been initiated. Number one, we have the Bitcoin halving. Number two, the monthly close above the 50% Fibonacci retracement. And number three, bull market, rocket ship to the moon. Let's go. And he included this graph, which I'll include in the show notes below the video in the description. And as you can see, the 2012 halving cycle on the bottom left, and then the following one in 2016, on the bottom right, followed by the recent Bitcoin halving trajectory here in 2020. Where do you think we're likely to go from here? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now, Nunya Business isn't the only analyst showing that the Bitcoin price can hit $20,000 by the end of this year. This strong sentiment has been echoed by a number of market participants.
participants. And before I break down these other bullish price predictions from other major influencers here in the crypto space, first, I want to take a look at the overall crypto market cap sitting at $367 billion with $122 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And the current Bitcoin dominance is 56.6%. Also consider if we exclude ICOs as well as stable coins, then the realized market cap, which is the true Bitcoin dominance, is closer to 80%. And now taking a look at the top gainers within the top 100, we have just up 15% trading at 6.8 cents, Loop Ring up 15% trading at 24 cents, Uma up 15% trading at 22 bucks, Tron has been surging up 13% trading at just below 4 cents, ZB Token up 12% trading at 29 cents, and Flexicoin up 6% trading at 1.1 cent. And now taking a look at the biggest losers within the top 100, Ample Fourth down about 30% trading at $1.08. Band Protocol, competitor to Chainlink and Oracle Service, down 18% trading at $12.55. Sushi Swap, and down 13% trading just below 6 bucks. NXM, down about 13% trading at $53. REN, down 12% trading at $0.45. Cents. And DFI.Money, which is YFII, is down 12%, now trading at $6,483. Below that, we have Algorand down 12% and BitShares down 12%. Now, out of this list of bullish and bearish altcoins, which alts in particular are you most bullish on at a time like this in the market where we're witnessing, in my opinion, a healthy correction? And now taking a look at the BitMEX margins, we can see the bears are obviously back in control, leading with about 158 million in superiority in the last 24 hours, with shorts leading 53.36% versus 46.64% longs. Are you currently bullish or bearish on the king of all crypto? Let me know in the comments right down below. And now checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated as 79 in Extreme Greed. Yesterday was an 83. Last week was a 75 in Greed. And last month, a 72 in Greed. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, Extreme Fear can be a sign investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity, aka BTFD, like we're experiencing right now when there is a dip that is the time to get a position right not when it's at an all-time high however the majority of the people are going to do the complete opposite of what they're supposed to do most people are going to buy in at an all-time high and sell at a major dip it's just the nature of what newbies do, including Dave Portnoy, which is very interesting to watch. Now, when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for correction. Exactly why I say I feel, in my humble opinion, this is a healthy market correction. You feel me? All right. And before I break down these bullish price predictions from analyst Mike McGlone, Arthur Hayes, as well as Cameron Winklevoss, first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market. This goes for all 500 plus videos right here on my channel and also some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including the blog to my podcast, which could be found at Crypto News Yes. Dot com. Not only is this updated every single day, including weekends, but it also allows you to download the latest episode of the show in MP3 format. Also, be sure to subscribe on YouTube by smashing that subscribe button right below this video in the description or visit the direct subscribe link, which is CryptoNewsAlerts.net. And also, you can find us on all the major podcasting platforms. I'm happy to announce we just crossed 100,000 podcast downloads. So I want to say I greatly appreciate your continued support. You can not only find us on Apple's iTunes, but also Spotify, home of Joe Rogan, Google Play, and Stitcher Radio. You can also follow us on Twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts. My Twitter handle is Crypto News Yes. And for those of you active on Facebook, as I am, I do have a private crypto Facebook group entitled Crypto Alchemy. To join it, simply click this link, request to join, and I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you active on Telegram, as I am, I do have a Crypto Telegram chat. To join it, click this link. You'll automatically be added, and I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. All right, now let's break down some more bullish price predictions, shall we? This one's coming from Mike McGlone, senior commodity analyst at Bloomberg Intelligence, who wrote, Bitcoin is mirroring the 2016 return to its previous peak. That was the last time supply was halved. And the third year after a significant peak, our graphic depicts Bitcoin making time for a third year following a parabolic 2017 rally. Fast forward four years in the second year, after the almost 75% decline in 2018, Bitcoin will approach the record high of about 20k this year if it follows 2016's trend and he also recently tweeted right here risking zero to five hundred thousand dollars 
Bitcoin set to stay upward trajectory. Bitcoin appears as a resting bull market on the back of gold. In our view, reversion risk are high for lofty equities and Ethereum. But like gold, Bitcoin should come out ahead in most scenarios. If you agree with Mike McGlone, let me know in the comments right down below. And next, we have Arthur Hayes, the BitMEX CEO. In an April blog post, he said that the Federal Reserve money printer going brrr, and other macro trends will push the asset to its new all-time high this year. Here's what he wrote. As violent as the quarter one collapse in asset values was, we have almost 100 years of imbalances to unwind the ancient regime. My end of the 2020 price target remains 20000 and that was back in April. More recently, he actually doubled down on his price target. In a recent blog post, he wrote, I, like many other pseudo-intellectual keyboard warriors, have a massive upside price target for Bitcoin. I will get to that in the next digest, but quarter four is going to be a humdinger. Yeah, he said humdinger. The financial Financial markets are going to whipsaw as politicians contort themselves to continue feeding at the trough. This unfortunately will have lasting effects on everyone's lives across the globe and out of the chaos, more people will mistrust centralized authority and look for ways to protect their physical persons and capital from the wanton destruction waged upon them by their rulers. If you agree with Arthur Hayes, the BitMEX CEO, let me know in the comments right down below. Now let's check out this prediction from Cameron Winklevoss, who recently made the case for a $500,000 Bitcoin along with his brother Tyler. He recently tweeted though, I don't normally like making definitive Bitcoin price predictions. That being said, this is the last time you're going to see Bitcoin below 12K until it goes back above. 12k so there you have it and if you missed this tweet from his brother tyler winklevoss he wrote the us dollar is no longer a reliable store of value and i agree 100 percent let me know if you agree he wrote my brother and i make the case for a five hundred thousand dollar bitcoin and if you didn't read this be sure to check it out i'll also include it in the show notes below the video in the description it's a great case on why they believe that bitcoin is heading to five hundred thousand dollars and a quick synopsis they're talking about the problems with money printing the money printer go brrr, quantitative easing, creating trillions out of thin air, and what's that's going to do to the US dollar. And then it also compares Bitcoin to other safe haven assets, such as gold, which I'll show you here, a nice comparison chart as we scroll down. This is about a 10 minute read. And it shows you some of the problems with oil as well as some of the problems with gold. One of the major problems with gold, what's the supply cap? Nobody knows. It's a mystery. Whereas with Bitcoin, we have a true supply cap. There could not be more created from mining it from an asteroid or from the depth oceans below here on the earth. So as you can see, Bitcoin versus gold scarcity. Bitcoin is fixed. Gold is just scarce. There's no known supply cap. We have to trust a centralized authority. Durability wise, we're talking about software versus hardware. So no comparison. Portability wise, no comparison whatsoever. Try walking around with some bars of gold. It'll probably likely get confiscated if it's worth more than $10,000. Whereas I can travel around with billions of dollars worth of cryptocurrency and nobody would even know. Divisibility, why? You have a troy ounce versus a Satoshi, that's right, a Bitcoin can be divided by 100 million Satoshi. So there's no comparison there. Storage wise, you got to store gold in a safe or a vault that you may not even own or control. So you have to trust that central authority that the gold is really in the vault. You don't have to worry about that with a digital wallet. Now, counterfeit difficulty. Guess what? With gold, it's difficult but possible. I've read stories of vaults being filled with tungsten gold, replaced the real gold, and someone actually stole that gold. That happens all the time. You can't say the same thing with Bitcoin. And adoption, check this out. The market cap of Bitcoin is currently just above 200 billion USD, and the current market cap of gold is above nine trillion. What's gonna happen when Bitcoin flips on the gold? That's when we're gonna see a $500,000 plus Bitcoin. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments right down below. Well, that's gonna conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this and real quick before i go if interested in tapping into opm and leveraging other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio smash the link right below this video in the description and register for this free system entitled opm wealth you'll be glad you did and i look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode peace